When a woman returns to work after having her baby, she notices her husband's behavior change. She hides a camera in their home so she can discover what he does when he's alone with the baby. What she sees leaves her in shock, with shaking hands. Stephanie clicked play on the camera footage. She moved closer to the edge of her seat to really take in what she was watching. As realization hit her, tears flowed down her cheeks. The images of her son and husband were etched into her mind. As she made her way home that evening, she knew she would have to have a very difficult conversation with her husband, Sam. She drove a little slower than usual while she tried to process what she would say to him. She thought back to the camera footage she had watched earlier, and it was suddenly clear what she must do. However, this didn't mean it would be any easier. And to think they had always been great at communicating, their love story was a perfect example. Stephanie and Sam met at college, and they had been inseparable since. Not long after graduation, the pair had gotten married and set about building a life together. Over the next few years, they focused on making a home and excelling in their careers. Stephanie had climbed up the ranks at a large newspaper firm, and Sam had launched his own successful business, which allowed him to work from home. The pair went on like this for a few years, enjoying life as a couple and advancing in their careers. Soon, though, it became obvious that they were ready to try for a family. They knew it would be tough balancing work and family life, but they were down for a challenge. After years of hard work, they both felt they could take a little step back from their careers without giving them up altogether. Slowing down would allow them to raise a child in a stress-free environment and spend time together as a family. They were very excited for this next chapter in their lives together. When Stephanie fell pregnant a few months later, they were over the moon. Sam was extremely attentive to Stephanie's needs throughout the pregnancy. He would make sure the house was neat and tidy when she got home from work, made all her favorite meals, and would always offer her a shoulder or foot rub. She couldn't lie, Sam had always been loving, but being pregnant made him even more caring, and she was really enjoying it. After a smooth pregnancy, Sam and Stephanie welcomed a little boy, Xavier, into the world. She took one look at her husband holding Xavier in his arms, and she just knew he would be the world's best dad. The couple knew they were very fortunate and that they were both able to spend the first few months of Xavier's life together as a family of three. Stephanie had taken a few months of maternity leave, and Sam was able to be around a lot as he worked from home so he could just pick his own hours. Life as a family just seemed to come naturally to them both, and Xavier thrived in such a loving environment. Months passed in this happy bubble, but soon Stephanie found a dark cloud hanging over her. Her maternity leave would soon be coming to an end, and the couple had some big decisions to make in regards to their careers and Xavier's childcare. Stephanie loved her job and was proud of how far she had come in her career, so she didn't want to give it all up. But she also didn't want to miss out on important moments with her son. The couple sat down and began to discuss various scenarios and how things would work for their family. Eventually, they came up with a plan that they were both happy with. Stephanie would return to work but on a part-time basis, while Sam would be the primary caregiver for Xavier. As Stephanie would be working fewer hours, Sam could continue to build his business when she was home and when Xavier was napping. It seemed like a perfect solution that would allow them both to continue working on the careers they loved while giving their son the best life he could have. The day came for Stephanie to return to work, and she was finding leaving Sam and Xavier much harder than she'd anticipated. She told Sam how she was feeling, but he reassured her that they were doing the best thing for their family. He promised that he would update her each day on the things they got up to while she was at work and reminded her that, as she was working fewer hours, she still had plenty of opportunity to make beautiful memories with their son too. For the first few weeks, everything seemed to go just as they had planned. Stephanie would return home from work, and Sam would be there to greet her with a smile on his face. While she cherished some time with her son, he would head into his home office and work. When Xavier went to bed, the couple would spend time catching up with each other over a meal and a glass of wine. 
Stephanie was delighted with how perfect everything was. It seemed like they had everything worked out, and little Xavier seemed just as happy as had always been. After a while, though, Stephanie began to notice a change in Sam when she got home from work, had mumble a quick greeting to her and then disappear into his office. Evenings where the couple would catch up with each other seemed to no longer happen, and any conversation was always initiated by Stephanie. Rather than eating together, Sam would spend long hours in his office or go to bed by himself. Stephanie couldn't understand what had brought about the sudden change in his behavior. Now that she thought about it, she also found it strange that whenever she got home, none of Xavier's toys would be out. Sam had always liked to keep their house tidy, but she had expected there to be at least a little bit of a mess from a day spent playing. Why did it look like their son never had any toys out? As Sam's strange behavior continued, Stephanie grew increasingly concerned about what was happening when she was out at work. She feared that Sam's distance had extended to their son and that Xavier wasn't getting the care he needed. But every time she voiced her doubts to her husband, he replied that everything was perfectly fine and then locked himself in a bubble of silence. Wanting answers once and for all, Stephanie did the only thing she could think of. She set up a hidden camera in the living room. She knew it was wrong, but she needed answers. She needed to know that her son was okay, and Sam barely spoke to her anymore. She felt like she couldn't rely on him being truthful if she asked him point blank what he did with Xavier all day. Saddened that their relationship had now come to this, Stephanie set up a camera in a place that would capture the whole room. She planned to let it record for a whole day, then she would take the footage to work with her the next day and find out what was happening in her home. Before she left for work the next day, Stephanie grabbed the camera and shoved it in her bag. She needed to review the footage in private so Sam wouldn't know what she'd done. With shaking hands, Stephanie plugged the camera into her laptop at work and waited nervously as the footage downloaded. When a little notification popped up on her screen to let her know the footage was ready to watch, she felt sick. Her stomach was in knots over the thought of what she would find on the video. She inched closer to the edge of her seat to get a clear view and pressed play. She would finally know what Sam got up to when he was alone with the baby. As she made her way through the full day's footage, tears flowed down Stephanie's cheeks. She couldn't believe what she was seeing, and when she pulled into the driveway that evening, she was still processing the images on the screen. When Stephanie stepped inside the house, Sam acted in the same old way he had done for weeks now. He mumbled hello, then turned to go to his office. But Stephanie grabbed his arm and told him to sit down because they needed to talk. Things for the couple were about to change. Stephanie told Sam that Shed noticed a huge change in his behavior recently and that Shed had become concerned about how he and Xavier spent time together while she was out. So, she had set up a hidden camera in the living room. She felt incredibly guilty for filming her husband and the look of betrayal on Sam's face didn't make the conversation any easier. She told him that Shed watched all the footage Shed captured from the previous day and was shocked to see that Sam had taken out all of Xavier's toys. Not caring for how much mess was made, as long as the little boy was happy. The hidden camera footage showed the pair building toys together, playing in a ball pit, and even making music on Sam's keyboard. They had been laughing from morning to afternoon. Turning to her husband, Stephanie took his hands as she apologized over and over again. She told Sam how she had cried tears of love and joy at seeing him make lunch for their son and then chat with him while the little boy ate. She told him how much she had laughed at the pair rolling around on the floor together. But the most touching part of the video was the way Sam would teach their son to tidy up right before mommy came back home. The pair would chat and giggle as toys were placed back in the toy box and furniture set back in its rightful place so Stephanie wouldn't come home to chaos. Sam admitted that he put all his energy into making sure each day was different for their son and that he found himself exhausted at the end of each day. But then he had to start work. He loved having fun with Xavier but realized he needed a better balance with work. While it would be easy to place their son in front of the TV to keep him entertained, Sam didn't want to do that. Stephanie couldn't believe how wrong she'd been. 
She had always known Sam was a great father, and the video proved just how great he was. She had let worries and a lack of communication cloud her judgment. Stephanie told Sam that she wished had opened up to her about how tired he was. The pair quickly realized that everything could have been resolved with better communication. They'd both put so much effort into caring for their son that they'd forgotten about each other and their own individual needs. Stephanie and Sam sat down together and came up with a plan for Sam's workload. The plan would still allow him to have fun with his son but would hopefully leave him less stressed and exhausted at the end of the day. The pair promised each other that they wouldn't find themselves in a situation like this again and agreed to talk more openly about their feelings with each other. In time, the couple came to view the hidden camera footage in a whole new way. While Stephanie still felt guilty for her actions, she was also glad she had done it. Not only did she get to witness precious moments between her son and husband, but the conversation it had triggered had brought the couple closer together. Sam also no longer felt angry at Stephanie for filming him without his consent. The footage gave him a whole new perspective on how much their son enjoyed time with him and showed him what was really important in life. The couple decided to upload the footage to social media to show friends and family cute moments between a father and a son. Neither of them ever expected the video to go viral. As the clips were shared around the world, Sam received messages of love and support for what a great father he was. It was the confidence boost he needed to work towards the better work-life balance. Stephanie and Sam's new plan soon seemed to work, and he felt the stress melting away. Had spent hours playing with his son but made sure he properly blocked out time to work on his business too. The couple went back to spending their evenings chatting and laughing, glad that the difficult conversations had been had and that they could move forward together. All is well that ends well, and for them, it couldn't have ended in a better way. Now it's over to you. Do you think it was right that Stephanie secretly filmed her husband? Why or why not? We would love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.